Hi, I'm Guy Harris, and this is Talk Like a Leader. This week's episode is titled Commas and Periods. Now, commas and periods are frequently used forms of punctuation. And basically, we all know what they're used for. They both, in a way, indicate a pause as we're reading text. A comma is a short pause so that we can either slightly redirect an idea or join two closely related or not identical ideas together or to give a break in the flow of thought to, to let people catch up with where you're going, that kind of thing. Like, so a comma is a, a short pause. And a period is a long pause. And a period indicates the close of a thought that we have ended this sentence and we're now moving on to a new one. We all understand that very well, especially in written communication, right? What we don't always do very well, me included, is to read those commas and periods in spoken communication. You know, there's a, a difference in pace people have. And I talk about when that, when I talk about the disc model, outgoing pace versus reserve pace, I tend to be more reserved than my wife. Uh, often a comma for me sounds like a period to her when I'm speaking with her. I pause briefly to collect my thought for the next piece of what I'm going to say or to add emphasis to what I'm saying or something like that. She perceives that pause as the end of what I'm saying, and then she starts speaking. Now, it's kind of funny now. It's become kind of a joke between us. It used to sort of annoy me until I understood this pace difference and uh, started learning how to not take it so personally when, when she would, as I would say, interrupt me, although that's not what she meant to do. She thought there was legitimately a break in the conversation where it was her turn to speak. So there's just a difference in perception. And one of the things to learn from a, a leadership perspective is to recognize pace differences can cause miscommunications, misinterpretations, simply because of the pauses we inject in our speech. Well, my wife and I have navigated around that. One is that we both understand it, so we kind of find it funny now. And two, we've developed a phrase that helps us stay clear, that one of us will say, uh, is that a, a, a comma or a period, usually coming from her? Or I will say, on the other side, uh, that pause was a comma, not a period. And it's our basically friendly way, lighthearted way, hopefully not aggressive way to let the other person know that we're still on the same train of thought. We're not ready to change directions. We're not ready for a new topic kind of idea. Well, we've learned how to navigate it in our relationship. And I think it's an important thing to learn from a leadership perspective is to recognize the difference between commas and periods and spoken thought. So that if you are more outgoing, you slow down a bit to recognize that the pause the other person just injected in speech may or may not indicate that they're ready for you to speak. It might be a comma, not a period. And if you're more reserved like me, learn how to be more explicit about it. Maybe you learn how to pick up your pace a little bit. I struggle with that a bit. I'm trying to get better at it. I've gotten better over the years. I'm not perfect. You know, we have interaction differences between us and other people. I don't know that that's ever going to go away. So we just find ways to navigate it and hopefully not make it a big deal. I learned not to interpret things as interruptions so much as, oh, they thought that that was a period. Now it's my job as a leader to either let go of the idea and let them take control of the conversation at that point, or to gently let them know that I wasn't finished in a way that hopefully isn't aggressive and condescending and rude, at least from the other person's perspective, in terms of how I reclaim control of the conversation. Like I said, my wife and I, we've come up with a phrase we use. Is that a comma or a period? Or I say, that was a comma, not a period. A gentle reminder that I was still speaking. It helps both of us stay basically not angry. And so we can stay engaged in the conversation. Well, there's another type of use of comma and period. It's a mentor of mine gave me this phrase one time. And he was talking about the idea that sometimes as you're in a brainstorming session, the session has come to an end, like you've run out of time or you need more information. You need to think about the idea that you're discussing with the other person a bit more. And you're not ready to close the conversation, although you need more time. You need to take it to another time or gather information or think about it, like I said. 
And the phrase he gave me, which I find very helpful, is to say something along these lines. Let's put a comma in this conversation. The point being that I'm not saying we're done discussing this idea. I'm saying that for the moment, we've discussed it as much as we can discuss it. It's a gentle way to let people know that you need time to think or that you need more information or whatever the situation might be. It's a way to continue the conversation, even if you run out of time in the moment. So a thing to consider from a leadership perspective, think about this idea of, is this pause we're putting in this situation a comma, meaning this thought continues, we just need to pause a little bit, or is it a period, meaning this thought's done, let's move on to the next topic. Need to be clear which of those, and learn to develop ways with your team, with your coworkers, with the people with whom you're in a relationship. You can let people know what your thought is. Is this a comma or is it a period? Now that brings us to the Talk Like a Leader podcast. This episode marks a period in the Talk Like a Leader podcast history. I've been doing this now for just under four years and assuming my count is correct, I have something like 189 episodes, unique episodes. I think there's 194 or 95 weeks of publication with 189 unique episodes that have been published. And I find that it's time for me to focus my efforts in, in other ways. So this episode marks a period for Talk Like a Leader and a comma in my broader content development approach to sharing messages and ideas. I might at some point have an idea for a short series of Talk Like a Leader podcast episodes that fit in a theme of some kind, you know, maybe four to six or eight episodes of, Hey, these are, this is a nice, neatly packaged idea that would fit in the talk like the leader context. But after doing this for four years, there are other ideas I'd like to explore other things I'd like to talk about other directions. I'd like to go that this current format doesn't really lend itself to. So you'll likely see me on the YouTube channel, the disc personality testing, the YouTube channel. There may be a few special episodes or series of Talk Like a Leader. But for now, there, I'm going to call this a period in the Talk Like a Leader podcast. It's time to move to a different thought. It's time to look at other ways to explore leadership communication, conflict resolution, personal interaction dynamics, team dynamics, in ways that this particular format, this short 10-minute format, has run its course. And I will say that I have lived long enough to uh, be a bit uncomfortable saying, for sure, absolutely, definitely, this is the way I'll think a year from now. I might change my mind. I, I do always reserve the right to be smarter tomorrow. And so new ideas may come to me. New ways of using this platform might occur to me. And I'd say for now, this thought is done. So I'd like to thank you for being a Talk Like a Leader podcast listener. You can continue to, to check us out, uh, check me out on the Disc Personality Testing YouTube channel. There will be other forms of communication and information sharing as we go forward. Uh, don't exactly know what those are yet. I need a bit of time to think and reflect and think about the, the best way to use my time, the most productive and effective way to create useful and meaningful content for people. It will help leaders become better leaders, to help parents become better parents to help people become better communicators, better able to resolve conflict, better able to navigate and manage their personal professional relationships. So there will be more. It's just that there will no longer be a weekly episode of Talk Like a Leader. It's been a, a joy being with you for the next, last almost four years. Thank you for being a Talk Like a Leader podcast listener. There is a library of 189 unique episodes. Feel free to listen to them. We don't plan to take them down. They'll still be there as a reference source for people. For now, it's been great working with you, great interacting at least a little bit with some of you over time. And I want to thank you for being a longtime listener. If you've been a longtime listener, if this is the first time you found us, well, then please go listen to the library. And for now, I'm going to put a period in this conversation and say, if you'll go back through the library, the Talk Like a Leader library, listen to the, all the ideas that are shared there, the approaches, the techniques, the concepts, the mindsets. I think if you'll apply all those, you can talk like a leader. 
This has been the Talk Like a Leader podcast. You can listen to this show every week wherever you get your podcast. If you haven't, be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. I'm Guy Harris, and thanks for listening.